What is good, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another review. This is Not Your Average Sneakerhead, Tony Ramsey, and today we're taking a look at the Nike Dunk Low Black and White. Now, before we jump into the review of this here sneaker, if this is your first time watching, thank you so much for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. Please consider subscribing to the channel. We are extremely close to 2,000 subs. And you can help us get there by, of course, one, subscribing to the channel, two, liking this video, and three, leaving a comment down below as engagement does help YouTube channels grow. So really do appreciate you guys stopping by and look forward to bringing you guys more reviews as we continue to grow the channel. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about this sneaker right here. So the black and white Nike Dunk Low released nationwide on Wednesday, March 10th. And these were pretty available all over the place. They released at all of the foot sites, so pretty much Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs, Finish Line, uh, Hibbit Sports. Pretty much any online sneaker reseller had these available. I was able to grab my pair using the Flex app. I did hit a pair of Dunks for a reservation finally. Um, I compare them to like, I think the Dunk Lows are now like the new Yeezy 350 V2s. Like everybody wants to have a pair of these. They're super uh, popular and you see these all over social media, but we'll get more into that a little bit later on in the video. So hitting these on the Flex app, I was able to pick these up and give you guys a pretty good review of these. And luckily, if you did not hit a pair of these, resell on this pair is not that bad right now. But again, we'll talk more about the resell value of the sneaker later on in the video. But before we get into more details about the sneaker, let's go ahead and take a look at the unboxing experience. So these do come in your red Nike sportswear box. So it's a little bit of a different box than what you would see on Nike uh, Dunk Low SBs, as those do come in special boxes, whereas Nike regular Dunks just come in this, in this simple red and white uh, Nike box. Nike text right there on the top. You do have uh, some Nike text right there on each side of the box, so all the branding on each side of the box. And they do read Nike Dunk Low Retro colorway white black and white of course i got these in an eight and a half my true size and they had a retail price of a hundred dollars and that's probably another reason why dunk lows are so popular because they do have a pretty affordable retail price so a sneaker you can get for a hundred bucks um you can't go wrong with that but let's talk some more about the details about the sneaker itself so this colorway was probably the one that i wanted the most they released alongside a few other colorways i think there was the orange and white one you had a women's orange and white one and you had uh some toddler sizes in these so they came in full family sizing and actually hit a pair of uh, gs size on the nike sneakers app for uh in my daughter's size i don't know if she's going to want them or not but we'll see so first things first we'll start off talking about the quality of the materials of the sneaker and i'll let you guys know right off the bat the quality on this sneaker leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, the Dunk Lows that came out in 2020, those had extremely good quality. I do have the Syracuse Dunks back there on the shelves and those are extremely soft and leather quality, but this one feels a lot more plasticky, which is gonna happen when you do mass produce a sneaker like this. So we'll start here at the toe box and looking at the, uh, the mud guard there on the toe box. That black leather, that is actually soft leather right there so that leather right there isn't bad but right here on the top of the toe box and the vamp you guys can see it that leather texture is not that good it's really more like in that plasticky leather that you would see on uh, general release jordan ones so not very soft doesn't really have a whole lot of give to it when you put your finger on it it just kind of just sits there it's really stiff leather and that same trend uh, goes on to the lateral side so on the lateral side, you do have another white panel right here with that same type of uh, cheap filling leather. The Nike check is done in black leather and that feels kind of cheap as well. Then on the little stabilizer right here, the black part right there, that feels like it's a little bit softer than the white leather, but still not the best quality leather at all. And looking back at the rear of the sneaker, more of that black and white color scheme, medial side, exact same as the lateral side. White panels, black color blocking, along the eyelets up here and along the ankle strap right there. Now, these also had a lot of different flaws on them too. So there's a lot of like loose stitches all over the sneakers and there's a lot of glue that was all along the midsole. But overall, the sneaker's decent. It's a hundred bucks sneaker. So what are you gonna expect from a hundred dollars sneaker? So we'll look here at the right sneaker. 
I'll do the same thing. Some still some more loose stitching. But again, 100 bucks. What do you expect? You're not going to get the best quality out of a $100 sneaker that's not an SB or a collaboration. Just a regular uh, everyday dunk, which actually isn't bad at all because you can rock these and, and pretty much beat these up. We'll look now at the midsole. The midsole is done in uh, white, so it's not sale. It's all white midsole with a black outsole which should wear pretty well. I love black outsoles on sneakers because that allows you again to wear them pretty often without them showing a whole lot of wear and tear. Looking at the tongue, you do have a white nylon tongue with some uh, with a black patch and the white Nike branding on the patch. These do come standard with flat black laces. They do not come with any extra laces. I wish they would throw in some white laces with these because I think white laces might make these pop a little bit more, give you some more versatility with uh, with how you want to style the sneaker, but they look just fine with the black laces in there as well. Then looking at the insole, they do have a white insole with some black Nike branding. Then you also do have a black sock liner all along the inside of the sneaker. And that's pretty much it for the details about the sneaker itself. So very simple colorway, but one that I like a lot because a black and white color scheme, especially in this kind of color blocking, you can rock this with a lot of different types of uh, outfits. So very good everyday sneaker, especially if you're just now getting into dunks. This is one that I would highly recommend picking up uh, as an entryway into uh, the whole dunk uh, culture and dunk phenomenon. Let's talk about sizing for Nike dunks. So for me, I went true to size, but in my opinion, Nike dunks can run a little bit big. I do have a narrow width foot, so I could have gone down to a size eight in these and they still would have fit me just fine. Probably would have fit me a little bit more snug. So with them being an eight and a half, my true size and still being a little bit big, I can just rock an extra insole to make them fit me a little bit better or wear thicker socks and that should work. But if you have wide feet, I'd recommend going true to size. If you have narrow feet and like a more snug fit, definitely go down a half size. Last but not least, let's talk about the resale value for this sneaker. So the resale value for the sneaker is kind of where things are a little bit tricky. They had a retail price of $100, so very low investment for you to pick up uh, for retail. And right now they have a resale price, I think that's hovering right around 200 bucks. I could be wrong. I'll leave a screenshot of that up on the, on the screen here. But for around 200 bucks, there are some other dunks that dropped last year that are going for like around 300 400 500 bucks but the syracuse dunks go for a whole lot more than that and so do the kentucky dunks i would honestly recommend picking up these over the uh more hype dunks because i think that this is a, as i mentioned before a colorway that you can pull off every day and you're not gonna be spending a whole lot of money and worried about it getting too dirty getting too beat up you can rock these over and over and over again and they still have a pretty good look to them i think the more you wear them probably the better they, they will look too so if you want to pick up a pair of these i'd say grab them right now or wait a little bit of time i don't think their value will go up too high because i think they made a ton of pairs of these and also the quality on these is not great and i think that'll keep the resale value on these from going too out of control but that's most of the major details about the nike dunk low in the black and white colorway let's go ahead and get these both loosened up get them on feet and show you guys exactly how they look That's gonna do it for my review of the Nike Dunk Low in the black and white colorway. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway down in the comment section. Did you pick these up? Did you pass on them? Are you a fan of dunks? Have you caught the dunk wave? Are you pretty much just off of dunks altogether because there's too much hype? Um, either way, I would definitely understand it. I was never really big into dunks when I was younger because I thought they were really more of a skateboarding shoe. But now as I matured, I've seen how easy it is to pull these off with outfits. I really do like dunks. I do have a few more of my collection so far. I do plan to still pick up some other ones as time continues go on not just because of the hype and even when the hype dies i still plan to keep these in my rotation because it's a really easy sneaker to rock on a daily basis you can just pretty much pull them out put them on and and take off so really dope sneaker in my opinion really perfect colorway to rock to at any time of the of the year and with any outfit so so one that i would highly recommend you guys grab and put into your rotation also make sure to subscribe to the channel for more reviews and giveaways as we continue to grow as i mentioned very close to 2,000 subs and 5,000 subs is the goal for 2021 so let's go ahead and help make that happen before the end of summertime really do appreciate you guys that's gonna do it for my review of the nike black and white dunk low this has been not your average sneakerhead tony ramsey please make sure to like comment subscribe and share and i'll catch you guys on my next review peace